Hey guys, I'm excited to show you how to DIY this cloud light trend that's going on on TikTok right now. I have to admit it's blowing up because this looks pretty sick. But don't be intimidated. This is actually pretty easy to do. Just a little time consuming. But I'm going to show you guys step by step how I got it done. So all the material that I have here is either purchased from Walmart or things that I already had at home. I had the polyfill. I have my glue gun, which I already had. I got some poster boards. The LED lights, um, these are the sound ones. I'll put everything on a description box that I use and I also have some thumbtacks as well. So here I'm gonna put it in between the living room and the dining room space. Uh, it's going to be a temporary spot. I will be moving it afterwards. But as you can see, when I start putting up the poster boards onto the ceiling, I'm gonna be using thumbtacks. I saw a lot of people use Gorilla Tape because um, it will last longer. If you wanted to put it in a permanent spot, I suggest using the Gorilla Tape, but I'm not going to leave this here, so this is why I chose to put thumbtacks. Also, when you are placing the poster boards on your ceiling, you don't have to really put them close together. I left little gaps in between, that way it can make the space look a little bit bigger. Um, but I was very careful afterwards when I was um, applying the cotton and the lights that I was not touching my actual ceiling. So here I'm just showing you the lights and the packaging they come in. Uh, these are about six feet long, if I'm not mistaken. But do be mindful here, I'm showing you this part for a reason. Um, at the end of the light, there is a little connection piece which you have to attach to another cord and either attach it to an extension cord if that's where you're gonna plug it into. But just be a little bit mindful of that. And I will be applying two lights for this setup. So I wanted to mention to put the lights, try to like move them around or like little, I guess, zigzags or S shapes just to give it a nice effect so it won't be so straight and perfect looking. Uh, when I put the cotton and turn the lights on, you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. Alright, so here I am applying the cotton with some thumbtacks. To be honest, I'm not sure if I caused myself some more work because I had a very sore thumb after this. Um, but I was just trying to figure out a shortcut because I can get a little impatient sometimes. And the glue gun method was a little bit messy for me. Um, I did get some cotton stuck onto my glue gun. So this is why I tried to use thumbtacks. Now, other people that I've seen do this, they use the adhesive spray, which I'm positively 100% sure that is the best way to go if you want to get this done as quick as possible. And here I'm almost finishing up and here it is. This is what it should look like once you're all done. I went back and filled in a couple of gaps and spaces that I missed. Um, also make sure you try to turn on the lights before you put all the cotton in. You don't want to accidentally do all this and your lights don't work. So here we have it, DIY cloud lights from TikTok. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys try this out and how it goes for you. But in the meantime, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.